What's going on guys, it's Ryan here. So basically I just did the um, Christmas event and if you didn't know already it gives you 200k bonus hunter experience. So I just, I got 30 last night while I was making the um, the Icy Bones video. So I thought I would, you know, go train hunter some more, use up my bonus experience. See, it'll probably get me around level like 65-ish. Uh, I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd record this because I'm about to get 1,000 total. And that's crazy, especially considering I've only had this account for, what, like a week and a half? Yeah, I never thought I would get this far that fast. I'm actually the, um, the first one out of the three of us. And this is, like, really good hunter experience. I'm getting, well, when they actually get caught. But I'm actually getting 304 experience per. And, uh, yeah, it's going really, really fast. Um, so basically, what I've been up to the past couple days. Well, er earlier today, I did the, um, Combat Academy. And that gives you... What is it like? I forget if it's 16 or 20, but it just gives you a bunch of Jack of Trades books that you can use on combat skills. And I used mine on summoning because I was 28 summoning, and it was the uh, the last skill I needed for 30 plus. So I got that really quick, and now I am 30 plus stats finally, as well as about to get a thousand total. Also, I did Animal Magnetism today. So that I could get the attractor, because picking up your arrows is so annoying. And I just, I didn't want to be bothered with it, so I did the quest as soon as I could. Um, and I actually, I'm in a French world right now. I got this on the Squeal of Fortune, I have no idea what it is in French. Uh, I guess I'll figure it out when I go back to an English world. And when I went to go to the English world to hunt these... I just got crashed immediately, and I was just like, nope, just gonna go to a French world. Last night I also did a bunch of plunder. I got to 41 thieving. Because I got, I was going for 30 plus, but I was like, I don't want to be back here for a while. So I just got 41, so I, like, when I get 40 plus, I don't have to come back. So that'll be a little less annoying. And I thought that it would take a lot less longer to get to these. Oh. But yeah, I've also done a lot of farming. I have... This is my cash right now. Um, I made most of it off of cleaning herbs. Mainly I was doing Harlander. But it's just like ridiculous now. Like, Harlander went up and I've tried buying it. And I don't want to like spend a lot on it. Because obviously you won't make as much money. And I, don't, I just don't want to do it anymore. So I've kind of given up on cleaning herbs right now. Um, another thing that I did was I got 55 crafting. I, uh, Me, Bob, and Mike, we capped at our Citadel. And that is really good experience. I'm honestly probably going to do that to 99. If you are like poor, like me... And you want to get 99 crafting. I would strongly suggest joining a citadel that has the loom. I think it's um tier 5. Oh, there we go. 37 hunter and 1,000 total. Yay. Alright. And uh, in case you guys actually didn't know. Uh, I have a, like a skiller. I have Fisha. And then I have, like, my old main that, like, got hacked a while ago. And then I just gave up on playing it. But, um, I actually have gotten 99 Hunter twice. Once once on my old account, which was named Wine1234. And then, uh, once on Fisha, obviously. And so this is going to be my third time getting 99 Hunter. And then on that account, I also have 99 Wood Cutting and Fletching. And Hunter as well. And then on a level 3... Well, I guess it's level 4 skiller that I have. I have an untrimmed crafting cape, which I think is pretty cool. 
But, uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be my third time getting a couple of these 99s. And, uh, yeah, that's a little bit ridiculous. And, um, so basically what I plan on doing this week, after this video, I'm definitely going to try to get 40 plus. And I, I don't know if I want a Dungeoneer, honestly. It was so annoying over the weekend. I showed you guys the Icy Bones thing, and that was just... Ugh, I don't wanna... It was like, not all of the bosses were like that, but it was pretty difficult in general. Especially certain bosses. The Unholy Curse Bearer, like Mike said, is glitched. You have to leave every time you get it. And then, um, you can't do the Remoki Rooms. Because... So I'm level, like... 78, right? Well, when I was doing this, I was level 60. And you would go into the Remoki room, and there would be four level, like, 95s. And there was no way, even with a full inventory of food, that you could survive long enough to kill the healer, the uh, skin weaver. So basically what would happen was, you would die, teleport back in, and then the skin weaver would be at full health, and you had to leave because you just can't kill it. It was ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, that's about it from me, guys. So I'm going to try to get 40-plus before the weekend. And I'm going to try to use up as much of this Hunter experience as possible. I don't know if it runs out or not. People were telling me that it won't. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And plus, I want to get Juju potions. I've never had them on Fisha, but I've heard that they're pretty useful. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you guys later.